Hello everyone, welcome back. So recently I was asked, hey Garboder, how do you make your videos? What software do you use? What recording software, what editing software? So here we are. This is OBS. This is something I use and this is something that many, many people use. This is a recording and a streaming platform. Mine is set to this dark theme, but you can have it in a bright theme. So I don't really want to go much in depth into the settings like the video aspect, the audio aspect, because you can just Google that. Whichever fits your resolution best, whichever fits your microphone best, it's all up to you. So just fiddle with the settings yourself. I just want to show how I do the basics. So in the right corner of this screen, you have start recording and start streaming. If you want to stream, you have to set your streaming key from YouTube or from Twitch into the settings mode and then start streaming. Uh, it's a bit more complicated. Let's keep it down to the basics. So start recording means you start recording and the screen is being captured and whatever audio you specified is captured. But let's start with how you make a scene. As you can see right here, I have three scenes and I don't want to delete them because uh, I use them, stream scene, fan game scene, yeah. So I made a new scene here, scene two. Now when you're in scenes, you can call them whatever you want to. You want to select the source. And you have a lot of sources right here, like uh, if you choose image, you can display an image on the screen all the time. Media source does the same, but with medias. Scene captures another scene that you already have, audio input, and etc, etc. But for my Pokemon, I actually like to do window capture. You can call it whatever you want, but let's just call it Pokemon. This pops up, but uh, we actually want our browser. So we open our browser, you click on your browser icon, you open Pokemon Showdown. Then you go uh, back right here and you choose, or you click cancel actually. Then we go into properties. And then it should recognize that yes, chrome.exe exists and right here we are. Now you can kind of crop and reposition as you want, but the problem is it keeps the aspect ratio. So if you want to make it smaller, then it kind of keeps being in the same rectangular object. Also for your mic and uh, desktop audio inputs, you specify all of this here. You can choose how loud and how quiet stuff is right here. Um, and in the properties, you choose what device you want. Studio mode is only necessary if you're streaming, but I might do a part two where I talk about streaming. Let's just concentrate on recording right now. All right, so you have chosen your settings. You have the correct audio and the correct video and everything works fine. Now, there might be a problem for most of you, which is when you're using Chrome, and you try to capture the screen, it remains black. Well, what to do? You go into settings of Chrome, then you wanna scroll down all the way to advanced. And then you wanna scroll down all the way until you find use hardware acceleration when available. This has to be off. When it's off, you should see your screen. Now you make some teams, you play some battles, everything is fine. Quick disclaimer. Did you know that the original actor for the Aragorn role for the Lord of the Rings was supposed to be Nicolas Cage? By the way, he was supposed to be Thanos too, but let's not talk about that. So now you're in your video editing software of choice. Nice. This is the screen which shows you what you have on screen, what will happen. This is the timeline with all your um, video files and audio files. Yes, mine is in Polish, don't, don't mention that. So you want to import your uh, new stuff. Um, if you have this problem that if you're using uh, Movie Studio Platinum 12, which I am, when you import the OBS rendered MP4 video file that you just recorded, it doesn't have the audio track. What you do then is that you go to VLC Media Player, you go under Media, you go Convert and Save, Add a File, go to Videos, choose your file, then you go convert save, browse, give it a name, save, and then you click start. You also have to choose mp3 right here. All right, we're back here. So we have the video file and we have the audio file. What we do now is that we put them on the timeline. We have both of them here, pretty cool. All we are gonna do is add some fancy stuff. For example, uh, some music on the bottom, put it somewhere here. 
so that overlays you can choose the volume that it's at so it's quieter or louder you can also choose the volume right here on this slider this makes the actual uh, piece of music quieter or louder instead of the whole track but basically then you just wanna you know crop however you want you crop right here and then you can crop like this so that it's a free form kind of tool or you can just click these two and then it goes into a like um, you know preset thing so let's say you have already cropped your video you have adjusted the volumes on your music and on your voice you have added all those nice texts right here by the way to add text you right click on the text or whichever of the video tracks you click insert new text right here you type something which is like hello you can choose the font and the size right here then it appears on the top you can move it by using the uh, crop tool because wherever you move it there it's gonna appear and that's basically it now you just do whatever you want to do to the actual video you're gonna produce um, one general rule of thumb I always do is that I always apply a, a sharpen filter or a video effect because that just makes it better just a, a light sharpen and then in my levels I go to RGB of the studio to RGB of the computer because that kind of makes the colors look a bit better so now you have a nice looking video nicely cropped good levels on the volume what else do you need a thumbnail well to make a thumbnail I generally decide to take a spot I like for example if I wanted to make a thumbnail like that I then click S to separate those two um, because that's a split that's the shortcut split and then I generally crop it however I want it but let's say that's fine then I add something on top for example here we have the papa but you can see he looks kind of bad so we're gonna just go just a tiny bit up so that shit disappears cool now he's looking like hey look, look at I'm presenting this to you and um, we probably want to lower that just a little bit so it doesn't like look too good and then we just insert a nice text we can uh, make this bigger here uh, let's say like this put it somewhere else put it right here and I know this looks kind of bad right now but this is just to show you guys how it works and uh, and then I click this it's a save icon like a floppy disk icon but uh, what it does when you click it it just saves this state of the uh, actual screen right now so this will become my thumbnail if, if I clicked it right here this would be saved if I clicked it right here this would be saved you know so you just want to find a point do all of this and then click save call it something nice you got yourself a thumbnail all right so um, basically that's it you know how to record the basics just find the settings for yourself whatever fits you if you still have some questions or you know I didn't mention something very important then let me know in the comments and I might do a part two on streaming one day or uh, on actual advanced editing in uh, movie studio or some other tips and tricks and whatever to make your videos look nice, I hope. Uh, but that's it for now. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope I didn't fuck this up too much. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Bye bye.